What's up YouTube? So imagine a scenario where you have one firewall installed at your office, right? And you rely on it to access internet services or to make video calls across the internet. And for some reason that firewall crashes and you have to reboot. And if your business is okay by being offline for a couple of minutes, that's okay. But if your business requires the internet to be available all the time, so then you might have to switch from a scenario where you only have one device as the gateway, and it's also referred to as a single point of failure, to a scenario where you have uh, another alternative or a backup in case your main device fails. But essentially, I'm talking about having a high availability scenario with two or more uh, backup firewalls. And with the 40 gate, this is referred to as high availability. And there are different flavors to deploy this. We can have, uh, in case we're using two firewalls, we can have both active, meaning the traffic will be uh, load balanced between the two firewalls, or we can have in one moment one of the firewalls being the active and the other one being a standby. So for this video, we're going to deploy uh, an active standby scenario and we'll see the advantage of using two firewall for business continuity. Uh, to deploy a solution like this, there are some requirements that have to be met, such as the firmware version of both devices have to be the same, the model, licensing, uh, hard drive, configuration, and other things that we're going to see in a moment. Now, for this video, I prepared the following topology. We're going to add an additional firewall. And for the previous one, we use port 2 as the one interface and port 1 as the LAN interface. And this is going to be the same for firewall 2. And we'll be adding two new ports, HA1, HA2, or essentially this will be port 3 and port 4. And these ports, they will be used as heartbeat ports. And the heartbeat port's role is to exchange information between the members of a cluster. So we'll start by making Firewall 1 the primary device and it will then sync its configuration and sessions to firewall 2 by using the heartbeat ports okay so we'll begin by taking a look at firewall 2 and essentially i have only enabled the interface and set the host name and but without any policy at the moment you can see and on firewall 1 that's the one uh, I configured the interface also and enabled DHCP and I added a policy to allow this PC to access the internet. So if I test now, you can see that I have access to YouTube. Awesome. So let me close this and we'll begin configuring the high availability by going to system HA for high availability. And we can see that current mode is standalone and we're going to switch it to active passive. Now we're going to set this device 501 as the primary. So I'm going to increase its priority to let's make it 150 as 128 is the default one. And for group name, this name has to match on both devices. So I'm just going to name it NSE4. And we're going to set a password and we have to add the heartbeat interface recall that the heartbeat interfaces will be the one to be used to exchange information and session uh, between the members so uh, fortinet recommends to use two interfaces so we'll be using port 3 and port 4 and we have to set the heartbeat interface priority so i'm just going to make it uh 100 and here the same value and that should be enough 
so we're going to click on ok and it's going to start the the process so at this moment fortigate 2 uh, isn't aware of this configuration so we'll have to replicate what we're doing on firewall one so just going to let it do its thing while it's changing the behavior and you can see it's okay and we should still have access to internet so let me test once again okay and i still have internet access so if i try to open a video here okay and it's working awesome so now back to firewall one we see okay is the primary and it's synchronized okay so we're going to do the same on firewall two so we go to system ha and the current cc standalone so we're going to make active passive and we're going to leave the device priority to 128 and we're going to change the uh, the group name to NSE4 and recall that it has to match on firewall 1 okay so I'm going to cancel this and have to change the password as well and the heartbeat interfaces will be port 3 and port 4 and the priority is going to be 100 and what's wrong with this let me adjust this Okay, and 100 okay and everything is okay once I press OK then it's going to sync uh, to firewall 1 okay so after a couple of minutes we see that the firewalls are in sync and firewall 1 is the primary as for firewall 2 is the secondary Okay, let's see if we still have internet access so i'm going to select one of the videos and we still have an internet access that's great we have both devices operational and firewall one is the primary now i want to add a monitoring option uh, such as the interfaces facing the internet or the lan interface in case something happens on these interfaces uh they would cause firewall one to fail over to firewall two so we're going to edit and here on monitor interfaces we're going to add uh lan and one and also for optimization we want to enable session pickups this will cause the existing sessions on the primary to be sent to the secondary so in case of a failover we won't lose the connections or the existing connections that were on the primary okay so we're going to save this change and we can see that at this moment uh, port 1 and port 2 are being monitored on both devices okay so now let's cause firewall 1 to fail over to firewall 2 uh, by shutting down the port 1 on firewall 1 so we see the video still playing so I'm going to shut down port 1 on firewall 1 and the video is still playing and failover should already happen if I refresh this uh, we can see that firewall 2 now is the primary we look at firewall 1 uh, although still having the higher priority but now its role is as the secondary and the video is still playing uh, it wasn't affected no interruption there and it's taking some time to see the alert here on screen so let me change the page okay and it might take some time to display that the port one on firewall one is unavailable or is down and you can see that uh, now we can see information related to firewall two these things happen once at a time 
and we can use other events to trigger the failover between the members of a cluster such as monitoring uh, the CPU, the disk size, it will all come down to the requirements for the business. Uh, so essentially that's how we deploy a high availability solution and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one.